All right, so we continue. Now, since we are done with the login and sign up page, it's time for us to do the profile page. So this is what the profile page will look like when we are done with it. So to begin with, let's start with the top bar there. So any images I'll be using in this from now onward, just check the link in the description and you can download them so that you follow along. So let me open up my text editor. I'm using Sublime Text. So before I type anything, let me simply save this file in the same folder that I've saved the other ones. And I'm going to call this one profile.php, hit save. And then when I type HTML now, it's going to make a suggestion so that I hit enter. And then I can use the tab key to move these inside. So between the head and the body tag, let's add a style tag there. So if your text editor isn't suggesting these things, simply type them as you see them here. All right. So to begin with, we're going to we're going to deal with the body tag here as we create this bar at the top. So that bar is obviously a div. So let's use div there. And then let's give this div an ID. Let's give this I. Uh, ID of bar. Let's name it blue bar since it's blue bar. And then we go in the styles here and put a hash and say blue bar. Open close bracket like so. And now we can start adding some styles inside this blue bar. Okay, so let's begin with the height. I want to give it a height so we can see it. I'll give it 50 pixels. I'm going to give it a background color. Now I have a specific color in mind here. So you can test out colors that you want. The, the color that I need is 405D, uh, 405D9B. So I got this color from Photoshop, as I mentioned earlier. And then the main color, the, the text color here is going to be d 9 uh, D F E B. All right, so let's save that and go to our folder. Click on the profile.php and drag and drop it in here. And we see our blue bar there has been created. So let's also add a nice title at the at the top here in the title tag. Let me say profile. Use the pipe that's below the backspace key on your keyboard and say my book so like this we're going to change the title at the top and we're good to go all right so let's add some text in this blue bar so i'm going to add the word my book but i want this text to be uh if you notice there's a little bit of a gap on the left and on the right of this entire website so I don't want it to really reach the end because some screens are wider than others so I want it to be limited to a specific region so inside this blue bar I'm going to add another box that will be invisible which will hold the contents inside so let's do that now let me add a div of that kind okay so let me move my book inside the div like so Okay, now I'm going to add a few styles, particularly to this div. I don't want to take it here and crowd this area because there are just a few styles that I'm adding. So I'll add them directly onto the div itself. All right. So to begin with, let me give it a margin of auto. First of all, it's, let, let's give it a width, you know. Uh, we're going to say a width of, uh, let's say 800 pixels. That should be the maximum that I want. And then I'm going to say margin. I'll give it a margin of auto, not margin top, but just margin auto because I want it in the center. And I want this thing transparent. So uh, I won't put any background color, but the font size though, I want it to be 30 pixels like that. So if we go back and refresh our page, we get this, which is uh, quite nice. And as you can notice, this is not at the edge there. Let me actually add a background color so that you can see why it's right there. Let me add a background color of black so you see what's going on. 
So you see there's a div inside this div and it's right in the middle there. So I'm just using this as a, a thing to hold everything, the content in the middle. Okay, so I can remove that background color because I don't actually need it. So inside here, we're going to put, because we have, um, we have this search box here. So the search box is a text box. So we're going to say it's an input of type text as we have learned before. And this, I'm going to give an ID of search box, of course, like that. Okay, so if I save this and refresh, this is what we see. Okay, so let's style this uh, search box a little bit better so that it doesn't look so, so old. All right, so let's go and begin that styling. So I'm going to say search underscore box open and close bracket all right so now here what i'm going to do is give it a width of 400 pixels and i'm going to give it a height of uh, let's say 20 pixels so let's see what we've got so far just those two parameters and already we are looking quite good now there's not enough space between these two so i want to add some space but the problem with HTML is it doesn't really count white space. So if, for example, I add spaces here and then go back here and refresh, you see that uh, it doesn't actually reflect there. That's because the white space is ignored. If we want to actually add some white space, there's a code we can use called and, use this and, non-breakable NB space SP something like that. When you do that, somehow it recognizes that as a space, so it moves this thing over. And I want this thing to move a little bit more, so I'm going to duplicate that and refresh, and there we have it. And then the other thing is we need to change our font. This font is not really uh, a good font, so I usually use Tahoma, so I'm going to do that on the body, the entire body, so that everything has Tahoma. So I'm going to say font family, that's the one I'm looking for. Ta Homer, something like so. So when I refresh now, uh, we have something that looks much better. Okay, so we are getting there. Now in this thing, uh, we can add a placeholder in the text here in the search box. So let's say placeholder, and the placeholder is going to be search. This is just some text to tell someone uh, search for people for example what the search box is all about so there we go search for people mm -hmm. so let's add some more styles to the search box and make it even better than this so let's add a border radius so that it's got rounded corners a little bit so let's add that at five pixels and then i'm going to add um, let me add a border as you can see this thing now that I've added border radius, it's going to look a little bit 3D and I don't want that. So I want no border whatsoever. So I'm going to say border none, all right, border none. And then let me add a bit of padding so that there's space between the text and the, the edge of the text box. So I'm going to add padding of four pixels. And then let me add the font size of 14 pixels as well. So let's refresh that and see what we've done. And that looks so much better. Now, if you look here, there's a symbol of a search icon inside here. Now there's a property called background image, which I can use to add a background image to any element. And I can certainly use that on the search box. So let me add a background image here, not background color, background, this one right there. Now to add a background image, you say URL and then open close bracket and then you put the link to your file. So the best way is to make sure that the file is in the same place as this PHP file, which it actually is. So if you look here, I've got this search.png. Uh, this is part of the package that you're going to download in with the link in the description. So, or if you 
can download, you can simply Google this uh, search box, uh, this icon. It's an icon of 24 by 24 pixels, in case you're wondering. So let's add that as a background color. So the name of that file is search.png. Okay, it's a PNG because I want that nice transparency. So if I refresh that, what you see is that there's a background image, but it's repeated because it's a very small image. So it's repeated throughout. So let's tell it not to do that because that doesn't look very good. So we're going to say background repeat. Background repeat. And we're going to say no repeat. Something like that. So don't repeat the background. So let's refresh that and we have something that looks better. So we have only one of these, but I want it on the other side. So I'm going to tell the background I'm going to say background position. Can I find that here? Yeah, right there. Background position right. So it's just going to send the image over to the right side. And just like that, we have our very nice search for people thingy. Now, what I want remaining here is just that image of our user at the edge there. So in order to do that, let me add this. Uh, let me just go down here and to add an image, we say we use the IMG tag. So IMG, something like that. And then source is the link to that particular image. So now the link, the image I'm looking for is this one because this is the image for our user. And so this one, I named it selfie.jpg. So what we're going to do is say source is selfie jpg now let's see what happens now so if i refresh the image comes here and the reason is that the image is quite big so we have to reduce the size so let's add some styles right there so instead of taking the styles up there we're just going to do it here because we don't need many i'm going to say width and let me give it a width of 50 pixels and let's see what that does Okay, so we have 50 pixels there, pretty good. So let's uh, float it to the right. So float to the right and let's see what happens. And there the image floats to the right as predicted, but the width is a bit too much. So let's put it at 40. Eh, or maybe not, I think the other one looked much better. So yeah. I think I'll leave it at 50 for now because it fills up the entire space. Okay, so, so far so good. This is what we've created and that's the top part of this thing. So in the next video, we're going to look at how to create this part below. I'll see you then.